I was asked how to figure out what the oxidation state for the carbon in the carbonyl group here, that's right here, how do we figure out the oxidation number for this in this acetophenone? So we have these rules, those will help us, and we know that we have a carbon here, here, and here. So this carbon right here, this is the one we're talking about. This is our carbonyl group with the double bond. We can see carbon bonded to carbon, there's no difference, so this won't have any effect on the oxidation state but the carbon bonded to the oxygen. Oxygen is negative two, except when it's in peroxides or bonded to fluorine. So this oxygen is negative two. That means the carbon here, it has to be positive two. So the oxidation state on the carbon here in the acetophenone, that's gonna be positive two. And you can see clearly, we're talking about this carbon right here. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.